Question number 10. Owen wants to train for 12 weeks in preparation for running a marathon. During the 12 week period, he will run every Sunday and every Wednesday. On Sunday in week 1, he will run 15 km. On Sunday in week 12, he will run 37 km. He considers two different 12 week training plans. So part day in training plan A, he will increase the distance he runs each Sunday by the same amount. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday in week 5 under the training A. The question carries 3 marks. Question number 10, that's really a long question. And the marking scheme has not been released by PSNet XL8. So I'm going to try this question. If there is any mistake or if you think of any better way of doing it, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Okay, now, don't look at the question as a whole. We are going to break it down into smaller, smaller questions. So in week 1, in week 1, he covers 15 km. And in week 12, week 12, he runs 37 km. 37 km. That means he's like gradually increasing his distance. Now, uh, if you look at part A, he came up with the training plan A. So every Sunday, he is going to increase. First, in, in week 1, he runs for 15 km. Then in the subsequent weeks, he is increasing his distance by the same amount. That means, let's say, second week, he runs for 15 plus D km. And the third week, he is going to add another D. So 2D, 15 plus 4D, 5D, etc. So here, it will be 15 plus 11 D. If you look at this, this is arithmetic sequence. Three, third week he is, he is going to cover 15 plus 2D. Fourth week it's 3D. Fifth week it's 4D. So twelfth week it's supposed to be 15 plus 11D. So you can find the common difference easily. 15 plus 11D is our last term. So bring the 15 here. 11D equals 37 minus 15 is 22. So D equals 2 kilometers. That means he is gradually, he is increasing 2 km every week, every Sunday. So D is 2 km. But the question says, they want you to find the, find the distance in week 5. So week 5, they are talking about 5th term here in this arithmetic sequence. 5th term, it's, it's supposed to be A plus 4D. So 5th term A5 is A plus 4D. The first term plus 4 into D. D is uh, the common difference. So this will be 15 plus 8 is 23 km. That means he runs 23 km in week 5. That's it. That's the answer for part A. Part B. In training plan B, he will increase the distance he runs each Sunday by the same percentage. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday in week 5 under training plan B. Give your answer in kilometer to one decimal place. Okay, now in part B, he starts with 15 kilometer in week 1. And week 12, he covers 37 kilometer. But, by, but this time, he is not increasing his distance the same amount every week. Instead, he is increasing it by the same percentage. So the moment the question say if there's some initial value, initial this condition or the value increase by same percentage every day or every week or every month, you need to think of this uh, geometric series of com compound effect, compound accumulation. So second week, he increases his distance by let's say x percentage. So second week in week two, that's the second term. He is going to cover 15 km plus he is increasing his distance by x percentage, 15 percentage of this x. 15 percentage of this x. So you take 15 as a common factor, you will have 1 plus x upon 100, which is 1.01x. That's the distance covered by him in week 2. And in week 3, he, he covers this distance plus. In week 3, he covers this distance plus again the same x percentage of this distance. So x percentage of 
this distance in week 3. So if you take this as a common factor, you will have 15 into 1.01x into, if you take this whole thing as a common factor, you will have 1 plus x upon 100, which is same as 1.01x. Uh, so you can write it as 15 times 1.01x whole square in week 3. In week 4, it will be 15 times 1.01x whole cube. So that's a geometric sequence. So here it will be 15 times 1.01x. In week 3, 15 times 1.01x whole square, etc. So that's week 12. So the actual distance covered by him is 37, but you can write this as 15 times 1.01x to the power 11. Because for second term you have power 1, third term it's square, fourth term it's going to be 3. So 12th term it will be to the power 11. So this, this is how you do it. Whenever they say the, the initial value is increased by a certain percentage, you need to add. If it is decreased, you put it as 1 minus, 1 minus. So you, instead of 1 plus x upon 100, you can write it as 1 minus x upon 100. Okay, so look at this. So this is our common ratio. You can rewrite this as 15, 15r, 15r square, etc. The last term is 15r to the power 11. That's uh, that's a geometric sequence. Now they want you to find the fifth term. That means the distance covered by him in week 5. Or in other words, the fifth term of this geometric sequence, it will be a r to the power 4. If it is 5, the exponent will be 4. A is the initial value times 1.01x to the power 4, r to the power 4. But you need to find the value of x so you can substitute here. Uh, you need to find the value of r to the power 4. When you equate this, you can find the value of r. 15r to the power 11 is 35, 37 r to the power 11 is 37 upon 15. So you find r and substitute here, so you get the distance of the fifth term or the distance covered by him in week 5. So the value of r is, it's 1.08554 etc. So find r to the power 4 multiplied by 15, that's the fifth term. So it's 20.829, but they want the answer in one decimal place. So it's 20.8 kilometer. That's the distance covered by him in week 5. Now, Owen will also run a fixed distance x kilometer each Wednesday over the 12-week period. Given that x is an integer, the total distance that Owen will run on Sundays and Wednesdays over the 12 week will not exceed 360 km. So there are two questions. Find the maximum value of x if he uses training plan A or find the maximum value of value of x if he uses training plan B. The question carries 5 marks. Okay, now this time he is not only running on Sundays, he has a, he is covering x km in every Wednesday as well. So in Sundays, he is following the traveling, uh, the training plan A. So that's arithmetic sequence and we got the, the value of D already is 2. So this uh, 37 kilometer covered by him in week 12. But he is running Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday. But every Wednesday, he covers X kilometer. The same amount every week. So for 12 weeks, he covers... 12x kilometer in Wednesdays but Sunday we need to find the sum of sum of all uh, the terms the distance covered by him so this arithmetic sequence when you find the sum of this arithmetic sequence there is a formula n by 2 into 8 plus L so this total distance covered by him in Sundays and the total distance covered by him in Wednesdays 
together cannot be more than 360 kilometers. He can run only 360 kilometers according to his, uh, this plan. So they want you to find the maximum value of x. So here the number of terms is 12. So we replace n by 12. The first term is 15, last term is 37. And find x, that's it. So it's 6, 6 into 6 into 30, 40, 52 plus 12x. Maybe you can take it as equal to 360. So find x. 12x is 360 minus 312. 300, 312, 360 minus 312, which is uh, 48. So x equals 48 upon 12 is 4. So x equals 4 kilometer. So he can run 4 kilometer every Wednesday so that he can cover 360 kilometer in 12 weeks. This is not supposed to. So that's the maximum value of x. If he runs more than 4 kilometer, it will exceed 360. So x is equal to 4 kilometers is the answer. Now, if he follows the training plan B, the distance covered by him follows a geometric sequence. So we need to find the sum of, uh, sum of all these terms and then 12x, the distance covered by him on Wednesdays in 12 weeks. So it's 12x and we need to find the sum of all the terms of this geometric sequence. So we need to find the common ratio. I think we got the common ratio in part B. We, we are going to use the common ratio. If the common ratio is, uh, there are two formulas, A into R to the power N minus one upon R minus one. If our R is great, common ratio is greater than one. If the common ratio is less than one, flip them. One minus R to the power N divided by one minus R. So we are going to use the common ratio to find this uh, sum of uh, this series, geometric series. Then both equal to adding them should not exceed 360. That's the maximum distance he can cover in 12 weeks. So we need to find the maximum value of x. So the R is 1.086. Use that here. A into the R is greater than 1. So we use this formula. 1.086 to the power n, n is the number of terms, minus 1 divided by or minus 1. You don't need to round the figure out, so you can use the actual value. So this value is 294 point something, 294.185, let's uh, take it as 2, maybe 19, plus 12x equals 360. Find x, make x as the subject. So the answer is 5x equals 5.48 something, something, something. But in the question, if you read the question carefully, it says x is an integer. So if it is 5 point something, something, take it as 5. Even the answer is, let's say it's 5.56 something. We are not rounding the figure, don't take it as 6. Because if you substitute here x as 6, your value will exceed 360. It is not supposed to exceed 360. So always take the take this uh, integer. This 5. Though the number is more than 5, do not round the figure to 6. So x equals 5 kilometer. So that's the maximum value of x.